welcome to episode four of Trans Am Tri 2022. Hopefully you enjoyed episodes one through three so far. Episode four is biking day three from Brunswick, Georgia to Statesboro, Georgia. So at this point, it was me, Wayne, Jeff, Mike, and Dennis all together on the bike yet. Jack Amina and Kale were out ahead of us. I believe Kale was in the lead at the time. After day two on the bike, in the middle of the night, Kale sent us several messages um, about the adventure that he encountered uh, as he went through our route. On a new race like this, the route is very raw. It's, it hasn't been validated in person. Uh, we rely on Strava, we rely on Kamut, Garmin, Google Maps, etc., to make this route for us that's bike friendly. Well, as Kale encountered, it wasn't friendly. I saved some of his audio clips because they were quite comical, while I'm sure at the time it was scary for Kale. So hopefully you enjoy them as much as we did. I think it took him four hours to go the last 20 miles of his day. Hope you enjoy uh, episode four. All right, hope this doesn't wake you up. Uh, it's been a night. Um, and, okay, I'm going to, I know this is an adventure for everyone, and half the part of being in an adventure is that you're exploring stuff. Um, so I don't want to, unless you want more knowledge, um, you're going to come to a sign out in the middle of the boonies and just heed it. It's, um, unexploded ordinance uh literally the route wants you to go through uh an artillery zone uh the so please heed that or look at my route on strava uh when i get finally done thanks yeah i i um i guess i was more worried that because i almost went through it you know i i almost um was like yeah i bet it, that, there's no way that's real but I had smelled smoke leading up to that sign, and I was like, what is going on out here? The chopper had been going over, and shortly after I passed that sign was like machine guns and uh, like literal bombs. It was so crazy. So, if you don't want to deal with Strava, basically you're going to take a right at that sign instead of going straight through as the route wants you to do. And then you'll have to use Google Maps to get out. There's too many roads out there, um, and they're all dirt, really, really, really soft. It's unrideable. Uh, it took me about um, it took me about four hours to do the last 20 miles uh, last night. Um, but I just I did not want to go to bed out there. <laughs> um, so uh, that being said, um, the last piece of route. Uh, beta I can give you um, if you get through uh, when you get through that today if you need to shower uh, lovey uh, it's called loves but it's three miles off the route it's a truck stop that has showers um, I went there last night I didn't shower but I, there's plenty of food it's 24 hours I'm providing that that second picture um, because I think it's possible that you would um, you know, it's like, oh, well, maybe somebody just doesn't want you on their property. Uh, but on the other side of that is the entry for for the artillery zone. So it's real. Okay. Have fun today, guys. Okay, that was, I just listened to what I said last night. Um, dude, don't, don't go on the route that's going to take you th right straight through that sign that says do not enter because it is an actual uh, I can't make this up man uh, there were fucking machine guns and bombs going off out there last night um, and I was trying to get out uh, of uh, there's fucking helicopters coming through like, it was insane but but don't go straight through that sign. 145, all day long. That's a pretty good tune, ain't it? Do you know 
yesterday. Yesterday, all my friends were so far away. What was the one that I won't do it, but my sister will? Yeah, yeah, really. That was a, that was a good trip. Hey, hey, there's a girl up on the hill. She won't, but her sister will. Hey, hey, <laughs> all night long. I said, oh. She's coming. It's supposed to be 90 today. This road, Wayne. I love this road. I'm gonna lay on day in the neighborhood. Now that's some high quality H2O. That, 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 that is some high quality. 
H2O. All right. Ready? Are we ready? They get your fastest out of time. Fabulous. You look good. How yeah, far are you in? Good. You're in how many miles? After the day 15. Uh, so you're over 700. Yeah. Barbecue here. <laughs> Jeffrey turned around, he was flying. Siri got him. Siri got him at the barbecue yeah. though. Yeah. Come. They're gonna hit this sand. I can't wait. <laughs> well, nice hot day. Swedish fish, Swedish fish tastes good. Mmm, soft and chewy. Deliciousness of sugar. Here comes Jeff. We're good now, buddy. Dennis coming? Hey, hey, why is your back all sandy? <laughs> I was at the beach. Hey, did, hey, did you fall down on that sandy road? I fell down hard. Like, oh, can you hear me scream, motherfucker? Hey, what would John Candy say if you're gonna fall? Go loose. Go loose. <laughs> Here we are, day four, day three on the bike. About to be the third day in a row with a century ride. Woo! Just when you think it's gonna be an easy 100 today, the heat kicks in, the wind kicks up a little bit. About 12 more miles today. Give it hell again tomorrow. Where's the chat? Where's the chat? We have, we, have a, we have a guest here, a guest speaker here today. <laughs> <laughs> Sir Wayne Kurtz. He's, nice. he's going to talk, talk to you about the word suffer. Can you spell suffer? Then it's...